FigureMapair.com. We're all in this together. Ed here at Figure Repair, here to talk to you about, is it my H-Pop? Or is it my Figum? So, people say H-Pop, high pressure oil pump. And really what they mean is, is it my high pressure oil system? And so how can you tell if the problem is with your fuel injection control module or with your high pressure oil pump? So in order to have an injection, ignition really, on a power stroke six liter, uh, you need to have injection. And so in order to have injection on a power stroke, you need to have 500 PSI of injection control pressure, basically oil pressure in the oil rail. And so without 500 PSI, there's no dice for you. And so you can go ahead, if you've got a gauge like an SCT, an Edge, a Bully Dog, um, you know, Torque Pro app on your phone, whatever you've got, you can go ahead and you can look at ICP PSI as an indication. And that should be zero, key on engine off. And then during cranking, it should be over 500. And you're like, well, but I've got over 500 and I still don't have ignition and my Fickham is still uh, doing 48 volts. Surely, you know, like what's going on? Maybe, uh, maybe their problem is still high pressure oil. And you're like, well, how can that be? Well, that can be because the ICP PSI number can be spoofed and or is spoofed commonly by tuning. So it could be that what you've got going on actually is you've got a situation where your high pressure oil is not actually over 500 PSI like, like you think it is. See, what you can do is you can look at IPR duty cycle, so injection pressure at their duty cycle, or as SCT falsely names it, ICP duty cycle, and you can see if during cranking, if that's 85%. And so uh, if it is 85% during cranking, that means it's saying, hey, give it all I can, Scotty. It's an indication that, hey, yeah, you've got a problem with your high pressure oil system, even though it says otherwise. And so it's like, hmm, what is reality? I guess I don't know, right? So what do you look at instead? You can look at ICP voltage. And with ICP voltage, what you can see is you can see, hey, if my voltage is greater than one during cranking, that's an indication that it's over 500 PSI. And that's a number to be believed. So on a perfectly healthy power stroke, it should be like, you know, way over one, actually like two, 2.3. Uh, but if it's anything one, like 1.0, 1 1.1 1 .1 or greater, then you know that you've got at least 500 PSI. And so you actually have um, adequate high pressure oil to enable the possibility of ignition. Now, on the Fickham side of the house, so what can you look at? What can you listen for? Say I don't have gauges, what am I supposed to do? Well, an indication is key on engine off, do you hear the injector's clattering? If you hear the, the injector clatter noise, then you can say, okay, yes, my injectors are clattering, therefore my Fickham seems to be working. And then if you look at Fickham main power numbers and you see that they're above well, Ford would say 45, we would say above 46 volts, and you have injector clatter, you know, crank, 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 then probably your Fickham is every bit of just fine, and you've got something else going on. And so it's like, hmm. But there's a lot of complexities here. So your IPR duty cycle um, should be between like 14.4 and 15 key on engine off, and then during cranking, you can go up to 85, and as long as it doesn't stay there during cranking, as long as it settles down to 40 or 50, then you're really okay. So there really isn't a problem um, as far as your uh, IPR valve working correctly and also reasonably your system developing the necessary PSI in order to play. So that's how you can tell. Now, if your ICP uh, PSI numbers are you know, over one during cranking, and by the way, key on engine off, you want them to be 0.24. So that gives you an idea that your ICP sensor is good. So if you're, if you're you know, key on engine off and your ICP voltage is one, uh, you got a bad sensor. You got something going on there. And so it's gonna be 0.24 key on engine off and your, IP, uh, your, your ICP voltage should be greater than one during cranking. That's an indication that, hey, look, your, your, your pressures are actually good. If you're looking at ICP PSI, uh, if, if you, on, on a non-tuned truck, you would see zero uh, PSI key on engine off and 500 PSI um, when it is, uh, and more than 500 PSI during, during cranking. So very common to hit, you know, 800,000 even during cranking, uh, wanting, wanting to get that ignition to happen. So I hope this helps somebody. And uh, if it does, like and subscribe, ask your questions in the comments below, and we'll take good care of you. All right, thanks so much.